mumbling while asleep to indicate dream content. Chris, Chris, wake up. I have something very important to ask you. Chris, there comes a time when every man looks at his son and thinks, I want to take this to the next level. Chris Griffin, will you marry me? What? Is it even legal for a man to marry his son? It is in Vermont. As long as it's a man and a man, anything goes up there. They're a bunch of liberal degenerates. I don't know. It seems really weird. I mean, aren't men supposed to marry women? No, no, no. That's just all of human history except for the last five months. We'll just be like best pals. And besides, there's plenty of people who are married and don't have sex. Like Will Smith and that pit bull. Why do you even want to marry me? It's time to settle down and simplify things. Like maybe having one ATM card and one bank account. Say yours. Oh, I get it. So, what do you say? When you're married, you get to spend all your time together doing things like playing catch and going fishing, right? Well, the best marriages give each other space, but yes, Chris. Then yes, I will marry you, Dad. Oh, that's wonderful news. You should know this ring is very special. It used to belong to your mother. Wait, what about Mom? I'm afraid that's over, Chris. Lois, wake up. I need you to sign this legal document. Huh? What is this? It's a petition to force that hot mom to wear something appropriate at PTA meetings. Oh, thank God. No, Dad. I don't know what normal is anymore. So now you know my complete sexual history, Chris. Wow. I'm surprised you got fooled by a bear in a wig. It wasn't a wig. It was a hair system. Well, whatever. Why do we have all these appointments? Wedding DJ, florist? Because, Chris, it takes time to plan a perfect wedding. You don't want to jump the gun. You know, like when you respond to a text too quickly. So, should we get started with your bridal registry? Yeah, um, I'd like to furnish my kitchen as if I'm the greatest chef in the world, even though I've never cooked before. <laughs> That's what we do. Okay, great. All right, we'll start with the nine grand in copper bottom cookware. Holy wackazoli. Dad! What? Don't what me. You know what you did. Hey, I may be your husband and your dad, but I'm still a man. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking to plan our post-wedding Sunday breakfast, you know, when everyone's sick of us. Of course. Excellent. Do you have a table for the couple that barely made it through the weekend without breaking up? Absolutely. Can I put them near the couple that hooked up drunk and now have to make awkward small talk until their cab to the airport arrives? Sure, and maybe they could go next to the vastly underdressed cousin who thinks the world revolves around him? I have just the spot. Will there be a physically frail fall-down uncle? Indeed, and we'd like to have him walk through a maze of chair legs. Anything else? Yes, we did invite a black couple, um, even though we only met them three months ago, but we would like them to be prominently featured to let other guests know how tolerant and wonderful we are. I'm excited for your first dance, and now we're ready to add music. What's your song? You know, I've given it a lot of thought, and I went with the most romantic song ever. Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. Can you feel the soldiers, Chris? So many have fallen, and this is why they were fighting. For a man to marry his son in a state with enough trees around that nobody can see what's going on. And then another. And then another.